Almost exactly one year ago today, I quit smoking weed. Now, some of you might know and some of you, you might not know, but I used to smoke quite a lot. I used to smoke almost every day. I was literally a typical stoner and I was a typical stoner for a good three years. And for those three years, I pretty much did nothing with my life nothing productive, nothing to work towards my goals, nothing to create a better future for myself. And so guess what happened when I stopped smoking weed? I had one of the most productive years of my life, one of the most successful years, if you want to call it that. And how ironic is this, bro? Today, I applied for monetization on this YouTube channel. Almost exactly a year since I stopped smoking weed, I have a monetized YouTube channel. I grew a massive following on TikTok. I built my dream physique. And most importantly, I have ambition. Now I'm not gonna sit here and just be that guy to bash weed and say that, you know, you should never ever smoke it. It's the worst thing on the planet because it's, it's not. But if you are somebody who smokes weed, you really need to just be aware, have some level of self-awareness and really realize how it is actually making you feel, how it is actually affecting your life. Because a lot of people, and I was one of them, they, they turn a blind eye. They don't want to believe that it's having a negative impact. They don't want to believe that it's holding them back. Because they enjoy it, because they get pleasure out of it, they don't want to quit. And like I said, bro, I was one of these people. Bro, honestly, for the first year of me smoking weed, it was the best thing on the planet, bro. I didn't, I didn't care about anything else. Weed was the number one priority in my life because of the way it made me feel. I would feel great. If I went and smoked, bro, I'd feel amazing. It would reduce my anxiety. It would help me stay present in the moment. It would make music sound better, make food taste better. I literally thought it was the best thing on the planet at that time. But after that year, it suddenly just stopped being enjoyable. And you might have experienced this, you might have not, but it was actually having the opposite effect. It was actually increasing my anxiety. It was making me paranoid. It was making me anxious in social situations. It was pulling me away from the present moment. It was keeping me stuck in my own head, in my own thoughts. Again, I had no ambition. I started to look worse. I was very skinny. I didn't eat a lot, but I let this continue for another year or so because again, I didn't really want to admit the fact that it was having a negative impact on my life. And again, I can't just say weed was the only reason for this. I can't just blame weed. That would be quite naive for me to do that. There were definitely other reasons. There were definitely other factors as to why I was miserable, depressed, as to why I had no ambition, as to why I was where I was in life. But weed definitely didn't help. So bro, if you are somebody who's still smoking weed, I know it can be difficult to quit. I know it can be difficult for you to believe that weed is having a negative impact on your life. But believe me when I say your life will improve once you quit smoking weed. And bro, I was that guy to not believe that sentence. I was that guy who would sit there and say, oh, you know, weed's not that bad. It doesn't have that much of a negative impact. But it wasn't until I actually stopped that I realized that I was wrong. So how did I actually stop smoking weed? The way I did it, bro, is literally just stop smoking. I know it sounds stupid. I know it sounds simple. But if you're going to sit there and tell yourself, oh, you know, I need to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop on this certain day for a certain amount of time you're never gonna be able to stop. You're never gonna be able to do it. When you tell yourself you're going to stop, it very rarely happens. What you really have to do is just become that person who no longer smokes weed. You just wake up one morning and think to yourself, I'm not smoking weed today. And then when you wake up the next morning, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna smoke weed today. And then you wake up the next morning, you do that again. And by the time you know it, bro, a month's gone by. Two months have gone by, three months have gone by. And the next thing you know, bro, you've gone six months without smoking. It's really about discipline and willpower. I never told myself that I was gonna quit weed for a whole year. All I did was just stop smoking it one day. And now a whole year has passed by. And now I have become that person who just no longer smokes weed. I now have a monetized YouTube channel. And honestly, bro, I wouldn't have this right now if I was still smoking weed. I can honestly say that I would not be in this position right now if I was still smoking weed. It just wouldn't have happened. I would not have had the confidence to come on here and film videos the way that I'm doing it right now. I would not have had the ambition to do what I'm doing right now. And now I'm not saying that I will never smoke weed again because I probably will, but I will do it when I feel like I deserve to do it. I will do it when I'm in a much better position in life because this is what I think weed does to you, bro. It amplifies your situation and your feelings about yourself and where you are in life. Because I was in a shit place in life, bro, because I really didn't make a lot of money, because I was pretty much just living like a bum, doing all the bad habits, weed amplified that and made me feel really shit about myself. Weed made that feeling about myself amplified. But on the flip side of that, if you're in a good position in life, if you're making a lot of money, you know, everything's going right, everything's going your way, 
and you smoke a joint, bro, you're probably gonna feel good. You're probably gonna enjoy that joint because your life's in order, your life's in check. You feel like you've earned it. You feel like you deserve to smoke a joint at that point. So bro, if you are somebody who loves weed, if you are somebody you're still smoking weed. Quit until you get to where you want to be in life. Quit until you achieve some sort of success. Now, having said that, I don't think I will go back to smoking it every day. I don't think it should be used every day. I think it has a time and place. But what I really just want to get across to you in this video is that if you are a young man, you're trying to level up, you're trying to improve yourself, you're trying to make that change, you're trying to work towards your goals, just quit smoking weed. It's not gonna help. Don't lie to yourself, bro. Don't bullshit yourself. It's not gonna help. Trust me, believe me, I've been there. Like I said, bro, I would not be where I am right now if I didn't quit smoking weed. This past year has been the most productive year of my life. And it's no coincidence that I stopped smoking a year ago. Just trust me on this one, bro, just believe me. Make that change. Don't go out there and light that spliff, bro. Don't go out there tomorrow and smoke. Give it a month, give it two months, give it six months and see how you feel. Because a lot of people that I've spoke to that have done the same, have felt better for it. At the end of the day, it's all up to you, it's all on you. But if you want the right mindset to level up in life and you're still smoking weed, you're not helping yourself. I'm gonna leave that one there, bro. Subscribe to this channel and join a brotherhood of young men leveling up in life. Like the video, drop a comment, share it. I'm making it my mission to help turn boys into men.